We're Ashley and Jordan and we've been traveling the world full time since 2019. After traveling around Thailand earlier this year, we hopped on a plane to explore Eastern Europe for three full months. From incredible hikes in Bulgaria and fun times in Lithuania to celebrating midsummer in Latvia, we've made some incredible memories. Now we're wrapping up our Eastern Europe adventures with, you guessed it, Romania. Romania. We told y'all we were going to loop back around for Romania and we have kept our word on that. We are in the very first hour of a two-week Transylvania road trip. Our first stop of the day is going to be a beautiful castle, but like with any road trip, we need to fuel up first. Let's grab some snacks. After driving over an hour from Bucharest, we arrived in the town of Sinaia. Known as the Pearl of the Carpathian, Sinaia is considered the most beautiful mountain resort town in all of Romania. Well known as a ski town, Sinaia is a very popular summertime destination for hiking, mountain biking, and diving. This town is beautiful and it is busy y'all. It is like Full on summer here and you can tell a lot of the Romanian locals are here for summer vacation. It is beautiful, just surrounded by mountains everywhere and it has Romanian architecture. This town is way more impressive than I thought it was going to be. Let's go get some food. This is huge. We got two plates of this. This is called Papanachi. It is like a traditional Romanian dessert. We thought we were going to get one of these each and we each got two of them. It was so delicious. Also, they're a little bit cheeky. It looks like a little bit of... <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. Not because they got two, because they look, look like boobies. You just... <laughs> you really cannot take them anywhere to grab these boobs in public. We are popping off the road trip with Papanashi. I've been saying that since this morning. I hope you enjoy that little phrase I made up, but what better way to start off and fuel up for the drive? We're, we still have a way to go before we get to Brasov, but we are gonna just fill ourselves up on really elaborate donuts, basically, and then go to the castle. What a great first day of this road trip. Let's try by. Jordan's convinced it's um, breast-like on purpose, which that's fine. Breasts are beautiful, so. It's like the ones in Italy. Yeah, the tit of the nun or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's see if they taste good, huh? They're good. They definitely taste good. One of them had a lot more of the fruit sauce, like blueberry. And one of them was more creamy. So I tried to get the perfect bite with a little of both. The cake itself tastes just like a funnel cake, but bigger, fluffier, and also like more dense at the same time. The fruit is nice and bright and tart. It's a, like a blueberry compote kind of a deal. And then some kind of delicious like cream yumminess. That's also a little sour, like faintly like sour cream. Anyway. I've heard this is a thing to get all over Romania, so I'm sure this is the first of many for this road trip, but I think we started off pretty well. This is delicious. The dough itself is really dense, like a, it's like a big dough pillow, and the blueberries are really fresh, at some point. I definitely recommend the Papanashi at Hotel Buchegi, but just know it was a very European experience. Expect to be there for a minute. We thought we were going to pop in and out for a little coffee, a little nosh, and be, like, be on our way. I know. They brought our coffee and then they said, we'll bring you your dessert later. And we're both like, okay, trying to like contain our Americanness, you know? Sometimes you gotta do that when you travel, but regardless, it was delicious. It was 22 lei for an order of two, and we got two orders of two, which was too much. They're very rich, very delicious. One order is plenty. Honestly, we could have shared a single one, but it doesn't matter. We went for it all the way. Highly worth it. Would Papanachi again, but we really gotta get to the castle because it closes in like an hour. So let's go. 
Real quick, I wanna say a big thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video and for protecting us online while traveling the world. NordVPN is one of the most trusted internet security providers on the market. If you've never heard of a VPN, it stands for Virtual Private Network, and it encrypts all the information sent between your computer and the internet so that no one can steal your online information. With NordVPN, we can be sure our data stays safe while working from unsecure public Wi-Fi networks. But a VPN can be used for more than just online security. You can also use it to unlock your favorite content while abroad. All you have to do is change your virtual location and you'll get access to a completely different content library. How much did you pay for this? 6,000 quid, love. Oh God. When selecting a VPN, you need speed, security, and privacy, and NordVPN excels at all three. It's the fastest VPN on the planet, and you can enjoy super fast speeds with unlimited bandwidth. And the experts think it's great too. Security.org ranked NordVPN the number one VPN on the market and the best VPN for privacy. So you'll be sure your data stays safe while working from public Wi-Fi or traveling the world. A VPN is one of those things that is just good to have. If you don't already have a VPN, we highly recommend NordVPN. You can use the link below or our promo code KEEPGOING to get a huge discount off a two-year plan plus four extra months for free. And there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. To get started, click the link in the description below. Now, back to the video. What happened? I was going down to try to pay for parking. It's not clear here like where to pay because we're in front of like an empty building right now. And there's a bunch of parking spots where I went down found finally found somebody. And I was like, um, excuse me, do I have to pay for parking here if I'm parking up on top of the hill? And she was like, at this hour, no, it's okay. And I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. We're here like an hour and a half before closing. So that's awesome. So we're going to get ready and go check out the castle. Everybody's a little bit sleepy, you know, driving, looking around for food. So that was a nice little win. Let's go see about a castle, huh? Okay. Did I turn it off? Yeah. yeah. How did I give you those? I just making sure it's light still on. Nestled at the foot of the Carpathian Mountains in the picturesque town of Sinaya, Hellish Castle is considered by many as one of the most stunning castles in all of Europe. Commissioned by King Carol I of Romania in 1873 and inaugurated in 1883, Hellish Castle is a masterpiece of German neo-Renaissance architecture. The castle served as the summer residence of King Carol and the royal family until 1947. So it only costs 50 lei per person to get in for adults. A little bit cheaper for kids if you have kids with you. But they only have the ground floor open right now. So we can't go to the first floor or the second floor here. But if you want to do those, when they do have those open, it's going to cost a little bit more. I think it's like 100 lei per person for the ground plus the first floor. And like 150 lei per person for the ground plus the first, plus the second. And 50 lei is about 10 USD for reference. Quickly upon entering the castle, you ascend the gorgeous staircase into the Hall of Honors where the king would receive his guests. The room is wrapped in beautiful, ornate wood carvings and at a height of 16 meters, it is the largest room in the castle. More impressive is its glass ceiling, which can be opened manually and electrically. Speaking of electricity, Pelish Castle was the first European castle to have electricity and be entirely lit by electrical current. King Carol spared no expense on his castle. Its 160 rooms are adorned in the finest examples of European art, Murano crystal chandeliers, German stained glass windows, and even Cordova leather covered walls. Each room of the castle is decorated in a different style or theme. The music room's furniture is carved with teak from India, while handmade silk embroideries adorn the ceilings and walls of the Turkish parlor. Used as a smoking room, you can still see the king's smoking pipe and his tobacco bag being held up by three swords in the Turkish parlor. 
And last but not least, we enter the royal dining room where the royal family could host up to 36 guests for lunch and dinner. After touring the inside of the castle, we make our way outside to the beautiful gardens to soak in our last moments at Bellish Castle. Oh, y'all the inside of Pelish Castle was stunning everything was so ornate from the woodwork to the paintings to the sculptures and even the glasswork like in the chandeliers and the mirrors it was just absolutely beautiful inside that castle I'm excited to see a lot of the other castles in Transylvania that we're gonna see we're at least gonna see I know like two more including the most famous castle in Romania also we were a little bit rushed going through I think they actually closed at like 5 15 p.m. today which is a little bit unfortunate because we only had like 30 minutes and we were kind of rushing through like 15 rooms so definitely make sure you get there a little bit earlier in the day to really take your time and explore read all the information about the castle and just taking the beauty and the artwork of this castle we're gonna head out now and head on to Brasha We just rolled up to our Airbnb. We haven't even tried to get inside yet. And we were attempting to park and our host had put a, like a bin in the road to kind of block the only parking spot for us. And this man started moving the bin for us, just, just started doing it. And I was like, oh, that must be our host. And so we rolled down the window and he says, hello. And I'm like, are you Victor? And he's like, no. And he was like, I'm, what did he say? Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel or something like that. And I was like, oh, hello. And he's, where are you from? The United States, Texas. Oh. I'm from Israel. Bye. <laughs> well, first, actually, scratch that. Before he said bye abruptly, he was like, okay, come on, come on, come on. And just like parented us all the way into our parallel parking. And as soon as we were done, he said, okay, that's good. And he just walked up to the window, bye, and left. And I was like, okay, thanks, parking fairy. That was so sweet. Some Rom Romanian hospitality. I very much appreciate it. But anyway. We're gonna go figure out how to get inside here. We'll see you on the morning for a day around Brasov. We have just gotten a little sneak peek driving through and it was so beautiful in the evening light. And we got to see the little Brasov sign up on the hill and the, the square. It looks very exciting. I can't wait to look around in the morning, but I'm a little tired. So we'll see you on the morning for more. 